this is John Rowland with Holland Park and I'm doing a little video training uh, on how to use this ultrasonic drill. Now we recorded the video earlier but the high frequency for the drill got picked up on the uh, microphone and made it hard to hear. So I'm switching on my amplifier first and you can see the voltage come up on the amplifier. I got it set to a little over 60 percent and now I'm going to switch on the head this turns on the transducer <clears throat> and basically we've got a water flow with our grit in our sump and uh, you can see out the flow of the water right over the tip of the horn and that there's grit getting carried with it. Now I'm going to go back on this little tiny trim pot which you can do with either an allen wrench or with your fingers if you have real nimble fingers and grab the tip of it. I'm adjusting that. Now what we want here is we want an inverted cone spray. Now it's a little hard to see in this video but when you get adjusted just right you'll see a really nice spray of water that's coming off in an inverted cone. Um, as we go a little further in the video you'll be able to see it at times when we get the camera angle um, where you can see how the spray is coming off and, and that's an indi indication you got a nice harmonic tuning of this horn which means the vibration is going to be transferred really well through that needle. Now the needle that's in here is probably a 1.5 or something that, that we're using just to you know, drill some sample slabs so you can see. So I'm, I'm looking at the, the grit flow right now and uh, there's a little less than I want to see so I think I've got um, my friend adding a little bit more grit to the sump. We just set this drill up. Uh, but you should see a, a fairly good flow of grit coming around. Now there's, the, there's more what you want to see. So the pump is picking up the grit. So I grabbed a nice hard piece of agate and I'm going to drill that. Um, now when you're drilling you don't apply too much pressure. If you do you'll start hearing a screeching sound um, and uh, when you get close to being all the way through the slab you lighten up your pressure so you don't pop a piece out the back. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you're drilling it's kind of the same principle. You don't want to overpress. You kind of let the drill do its work. It's vibrating at a very high rate of speed so it's basically grinding by the vibrations are rubbing the grit against the stone and it actually grinds the hole through. And you can see that that hole took maybe a minute to do and I got a really nice clean hole through a really hard agate slab. Now this is a softer jasper here. Now you can see in this picture you can see that inverted cone a little bit better of the spray um, and you'll see this one here because the, the material is a little softer uh, it's going through faster. That was maybe 30 seconds to drill that one. So I'll go through and drill a few more uh, hard jaspers and agates, uh, just samples, and you can kind of see the grit flow. You can see that the inverted cone shape, which indicates a real nice harmonic vibration. And like I said, we're running about 60% power. You can crank the power up if you are running a bigger diameter wire, uh, but uh, generally it's pretty good. It, it drills pretty fast at this size. Um, so you can see kind of the motion. We're not applying much pressure. You don't really have to worry about you're going to drill a hole in your finger. You know, if you put your finger right underneath the piece when you're drilling it and, and you're applying a pressure, yeah, you can poke your finger, but it's not like a drill press where you have some danger of uh, you know, drilling a hole through your finger. Um, again, when you see the grit starting to build up in your pan, you kind of uh, nudge it towards the drain uh, so you don't, your sump keeps uh, enough grit. Generally we'll run a, a bucket with uh, maybe five or seven pounds of the 150 to 180 grit. But you can see that nice cone coming off there. It's kind of an inverted cone. Um, that's you know indicating the tuning is dialed in. 